Let's now look at some problems that involve what we call the sum or difference of two angles. Up until now, all the trig kinds of problems we've worked Maybe we tried to solve this trig problem. Or in the last section, maybe we were given something like we even did some problems where Maybe inside the trig function, we had two theta. But you notice all these problems, we have the angle theta, only one angle. Now, we're going to look at some problems where we have some special formulas that involve trig problems with two different angles. So in this class, for the exams and in the homework, we give you some formulas to use. So let's look right here. Sum or difference of two angles. So here, there are actually six different formulas that involve either adding or subtracting two angles. And in this case, for these formulas, the angles are represented by U and V. So U and V are two different angles. So this formula says, if you take two angles, U plus V, and you add them together, and then you take the cosine, that's the same thing as if you take the cosine of U times the cosine of V minus the sine of U times the sine of V. This may not make a lot of sense right now, but in a few minutes we're going to do some problems and you'll see why these formulas become pretty handy. So once again, just as an overview, add two angles together. You can take the cosine, you can take the sine, you can take the tangent. Then if you subtract two angles, you can also take the cosine, the sine, the tangent. So that's six total formulas where they're adding or subtracting two angles and then taking the trig function of them. So we're going to use this formula sheet as we start solving some problems. So here's the kind of problem that we normally are sort of stuck on, but those formulas give us a way to solve it. Pretty straightforward problem. So now we're gonna go back in degrees. So we're gonna do some problems in degrees and then we'll do some problems in radians so we can practice both. Pretty straightforward question. What's the cosine of 165 degrees? Although here's the catch. In the instructions, they ask for the exact value. So by now you realize in trig, whenever they ask for an exact value, that means we're not going to use our calculators. And typically, almost all the time, that means we're dealing with special angles. Because we have, we have special angles, we've got a unit circle, and for special angles, we can find the cosine and sine of all these special angles. So, okay, we've done this before, so let's go find 165 degrees on the unit circle. And you see here you've got 150, 180, 165 is not a special angle. So how are we going to find the exact value of this if it's not a special angle? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use either a sum or difference formulas. So the idea is we can take the 
two of our special angles and then somehow see if we can take two special angles and either add them or subtract them and have it equal 165. If you want to think of it, here's what we're going to try and do. If we have two angles, I want to add them together to equal 165 or maybe subtract them to equal 165 and we want u and v to be spe special angles. So let's try this. Let's go look at our special angles. Let's see if we can find two angles that when we add them together equal 165. The easiest thing is to do is to grab the unit circle and let's just start seeing, sort of trial and error. For instance, here's 30 degrees. Maybe I'll take 30 and add 45 to it. Well, 30 plus 45 is 75. Well, it's not what we want. We want 165. So we need to get some bigger numbers. How about 45 and 60? That's 105. How about 45 and 120? Aha. 45 and 120. equals 165. You know what's interesting? I just realized this. Earlier I looked at this and I realized 30 plus 135 is also 165. So I can use either one. This is the one we talked about at first. 45 plus 120. So what I'm saying is 165 degrees is 45 degrees and these are both special angles so I'm now let's you can see clearly cosine of 160 165 degree angle 165 degrees I'm going to plug in Forty-five degrees plus 120. So I've taken my initial angle, which is not a special angle, and now I've realized that I can go take two special angles, add them together, equal 165. So then, okay, so what does that, how does that help me? Well, now I'm going to go look at the formulas, the formula for the cosine of adding two angles together. So I look here, it's this very top formula. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write, let me write the formula here and then we'll apply it to this problem. From looking at the formula sheet, the cosine of u plus v equals the cosine of u times the cosine of V minus the sine of U times the sine of V. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my specific problem and write it right below here. So that it is I can think of as U as being 45 degrees and V as being 120 degrees. So now I'm going to write down this formula, but for U I'll plug in 45 degrees and for V I'll plug in 120. So cosine of U, U is 45, cosine of 45 degrees, cosine of V, V is 120 times the cosine 120 degrees minus the sine of u, u is 45 degrees times the sine of v, v is 120. Since these are all special angles, I actually know the value of all these trig functions. I could go to my unit circle, but I think I know these by heart. 
Cosine of 45 is square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of 120 is negative 1 half, in case you don't remember that one. Here's 120, cosine, negative 1 half. Minus the sine of 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2 times the sine of 120 so now I have all numbers here now I need to just simplify and that should be my answer so now we have to do a little bit of math with fractions and even square roots so here first of all it's a negative so I'm gonna have like negative square root of 2, 2 times 2 in the bottom is 4, minus square root of 2 times square root of 3 is square root of 6 over 4. Now since I have a common denominator, I can make this into one fraction. Now I do have an answer key here, so I want to make sure I don't mess up, and that is the correct answer. My computer just had a glitch, hopefully it's still working. So that's the idea how we're asked to find the trig function of an angle, and we're asked to find the exact value because it's not a special angle, at first we think we're stuck, but the whole key is now to find two special angles that we can either add or subtract that equals our initial angle, and then we can use the formulas to go ahead and solve those problems. So here's another one. I may not finish it, but let me at least get it started just so you have an idea. This next one is the tangent of 285 degrees. And once again, they want an exact value. Well, 285 degrees, here's 270, 300. It is not a special angle. However, it's a possible to maybe add two angles together equal 285 like maybe start with 45 45 degrees plus 240 degrees aha 240 degrees is a special angle so 45 degrees plus 240 degrees should equal 285 degrees So what I would do is, now the tangent formulas can be pretty messy because they're fractions. So here's the formula of the addition. I'll write it down. I'm not going to do this problem because it gets pretty messy and I want to try and keep these videos. I just want to help you set up the problem and then you can do the messy math later on. So I'm writing down. So in this case, 45 degrees plus 240 degrees. U is gonna be 45 degrees, V is 240 degrees, so tangent of U tangent of 45 degrees plus tangent of V, tangent of 240 degrees, one minus tangent of U, which is 45 degrees times the tangent of 240 degrees. So these are all special angles. You can get you some unit circle, plug them in here and do all the math. Uh, let's do a couple problems where our angles are in 
radians. And that can be a little tricky because now we're working with fractions. So here's one. How about I want to know the sine of 5 pi over 12. 5 pi over 12 is not a special angle. If you look on the unit circle, it's not there. However, the question is, can we take two special angles and either add them together or subtract them that equals 5 pi over 12? So here's where you have to do some math with fractions because you notice our angles like pi over 6, pi over 4, pi over 3. We need to really change all these to like have a denominator of 12. So like pi over 6 is really 2 pi over 12. Pi over 4, right, you get this by multiply the top and bottom by 2. For this one, multiply the top and the bottom by 3. Pi over 4 is really 3 pi over 12. And then... So here are our first three special angles. Multiply this by four. There's a place to start. Can I sort of either add or subtract these and somehow have it equal five pi over 12? Well, look here. Two pi over 12 plus three pi over 12. That's five pi over 12. So what I'm saying is the sign of pi, five pi over 12 is pi over 6 plus pi over 4. So now I'll go and do this whole problem. So now I want to use my formula, the sign of when you're adding two angles together. So let me write it here. So it's going to be sine u times cosine v. And then plus cosine u sine v. So in this case, u is going to be pi over 6 v is going to be pi over 4. Sine of u would be sine of pi over 6 times cosine of v is cosine of pi over 4 plus cosine of u cosine of pi over 6 times sine of v is sine pi over 4 so now if I bring this down here, sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Cosine pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. In other words, because these are all special angles, I know the trig functions. Cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. And the sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. If I multiply these, this first term is square root of 2 over 4. Square root of 2, 3 times square root of 2, square root of 6 over 4. Since these have a common denominator, I can add these fractions and have one fraction. And hopefully, that will be the exact answer. And that is correct. Let's look at one more quick one. Maybe I'll set it up. Maybe I'll finish it. Let's see how. How about cosine pi over 12? What an exact value. It's not a special angle. Now in this case, this angle is so small. I'm not going to be able to add two angles together to equal this. I'm going to have to definitely subtract. So let's think of subtraction. Let's look at these angles again. Can I subtract two of these angles and have the answer be pi over 12? Well, actually, I have a choice, right? 
I could take 3 pi over 12 minus 2 pi over 12, or I could take 4 pi over 12 minus 3 pi over 12. Interesting. And it shouldn't matter which you choose, you should get the same answer. Let's just choose maybe pi over 4 minus pi over 6. So now, but in my formula sheet, I need to get the cosine of when you're subtracting two angles. So let's write down this equation. Cosine of u minus v, and the formula is cosine u cosine v, plus sine u times sine v. So now, pi over 4 minus, whoops, pi over 4 minus pi over 6. So u is going to be pi over 4, v is going to be pi over 6. Cosine of u, cosine of pi over 4 times cosine of v, cosine of pi over 6. plus sine of u, sine of pi over 4, times sine of v, cosine of pi over 4, square root of 2 over 2, cosine of pi over 6, square root of 3 over 2, sine of pi over 4, square root of 2 over 2, sine of pi over 6, square root of 6 over 4 plus square root 2 over 4. If I combine this into one fraction, and if I did, didn't make any mistakes, that should be the answer. And that is correct. All right. So that's the first way we're going to use the sum, uh, sum and difference formulas.